Hey guys, Tammy here, and I got my cousin Crystal with me today. Hey everybody. And uh, you guys have been on our nuts about trying, I guess McDonald's has these new uh, crispy chicken sandwiches or whatever. Y'all been in both of our DMs about trying them, so guess where we are? McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> okay, we're here to try them. But before we get started, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, okay? Raycon earbuds. You guys already know I love my Raycon earbuds for a few different reasons. The sound quality is insane. And the battery lasts a long time, something like six hours or something like that. And they come in lots of fun different colors and different fit options. And I bet I know what you're thinking. Tammy, you can barely even see those. Those things are gonna fall out of my ears. Oh yeah? Did they fall out? No, they didn't. Raycon earbuds are about half the price of all other premium earbuds on the market. They have seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and they're super compact, okay? So they're really gonna give you that good noise isolating fit. And let's say you're trying to take a break from your screen, but you don't wanna feel completely unplugged. Well, Raycon wireless earbuds, listen, these things right here are the best way to bring your favorite content with you wherever you go. Let's say I'm cleaning the house, Crystal. I just put in my earbuds, okay? And then I put on my favorite podcast and I just throw my phone on the bed, you know, and just clean the house, listening to my favorite podcast. Listen, click on the link in my description box, okay? Or go to buyraycon.com slash Chelsea. They're giving you guys 15% off. All right, don't sleep on this. Get your discounts, okay? Splurge, splurge on the good shit. Okay, click the link. All right, you ready for uh, McDonald's? I'm so hungry. Okay, here we go. They closed? How you doing? I'm pretty good. Hey, y'all serving lunch? No, ma'am, not yet. Oh, People wanted the, people wanted the spicy chicken sandwich. Yes. Well, you want to wait or you want to get breakfast? It's up to you. I don't mind waiting because I want to try it. But I'll do whatever you want to do. Let's order breakfast and we'll do the, we'll do it on your channel. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. All right, we're gonna order some breakfast. Okay. Go ahead and when you're ready. I want that platter. With yeah. Give me the, uh, give me the little sausage burritos too. Let me try those. I've never tried those. Okay. And on my platter, can I get an orange juice to drink? I want a yeah. number two with a large sweet tea. A number two with a large sweet tea? And a cinnamon roll. Okay. And a cinnamon roll, please. Okay. And that'll do me. Thank you. Yeah. Damn it. So since when, since when does McDonald's start? Ser it's 1040, Crystal. They should start serving. They should start serving uh, lunch at 1030. Everybody knows that. Well, they used to have it where at 1030 they take it off. You know. That's right. How you doing? Yeah, thank you. They cut it off. I'm. Yes, please. Hey, I, when did y'all stop serving? Uh, I thought lunch started at 1030. Is that new? Um, Monday through Friday, 1030. Saturday and Sunday, it's 27. Oh. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it would be 1031 and they'd say, oh, duh. Oh, yeah. You couldn't get a biscuit or nothing. Oh, I know. L and listen, I'm not mad at the platter. I love platters, Crystal. I love platters. But people wanted to see us try the spicy chicken sandwich. There was, I mean, I got at least, I don't know, two messages asking. How me. you doing? At least two. It, yeah. Thank you. Are the straws in there, Crystal? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. You ready to mukbang? That's a... Uh, I just want to say this. 
She said Monday through Friday, that's what they do. But on Saturday and Sunday, how are we supposed to know that? Yeah, there ain't no, I haven't seen a commercial or sign or Did, nothing. Have they told people that? Or are they just assuming people know? I'm not going to work myself up over it, but I'm not happy. That's for sure. But I'm going to enjoy my platter. <laughs> the thing is, they do that probably for people that work Monday through Friday. Well, I don't work, so why does it got to be different for me? Exactly. They should do it on a person-by-person -person case. Damn. That's all right. I love a platter. I love a platter. And a bunch of y'all asked some really good questions on um, Instagram, so we're going to answer your questions. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Get some straws out of here. Here's your straw. Here, hold on. Oh, damn it's out of here. Oh, I got. Okay. Mm, it's, hey, it smells good. I'm going to give this to you because you like to. To divvy out? Yeah, you like okay. to. Okay. Me in charge. Okay. Oh, look. Look at the little butters. And it's real butter. It ain't margarine. Okay, we got a butter. There's your cinnamon roll. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, that gave us lots of, okay. Oh. Okay, let's see here, that's, that's yours. Okay. I got my two little. And I'll unwrap those and tap them too. And we got, check that out. And this bag is full of like everything we're gonna need, Crystal. You wanna do a thumbnail? Let me open up a platter. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll open up my cinnamon bun. Okay. Ready? You think we got it? <laughs> got it. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Mm. That's good. So I got my hotcakes, eggs. They threw in a biscuit and a little sausage underneath. Okay. But I think I want to dive into those little sausage burritos first and see how those are because I've never tried those, Crystal. It's just hotcake syrup. They only gave us one. I got one up here. Okay, okay. I was about to, I was about to go through there. Back through there. Damn. By the time we go back through there, we can get lunch. Yeah, literally. Hey, I just want to say real quick. I did this that Q&A thing on Instagram. And 90% of the questions were, Have you and Crystal ever fucked the same guy? Have you and Crystal ever dated the same guy? Have you and Crystal ever locked the same guy? Listen, we've never... Have we fucked the same guy? Not knowingly. Yeah, not not like, oh, Tammy fucked him. I'm going to go fuck him. Yeah, yeah, not knowingly. Um, have we ever liked the same guy? I'm sure, you know. Um, have we ever dated the same guy? No, because we don't mess with each other's men's. Even if, oh, let's put it this way. Even if Crystal has an ex-boyfriend. Good job. Even if Crystal, let's say her boyfriend broke up with her and he really wanted to fuck me and I knew he wanted to fuck me the whole time, you know, and he came up to me, Tammy, me, me and Crystal aren't together anymore. You want to fuck? That's my fucking cousin. That's my fucking best friend. That's my fucking family. Ain't no nut, ain't no nut worth hurting her. And he should know. It's so disrespectful to me and you to think that you was going to do that. To th exactly. And that's happened ten times, you know, at least. And same for, same for her. Do, uh, my boy, we don't do that. We're not diamond. People constantly ask him about diamond. But yeah, everybody's asking me about diamond, They're too. obsessed with her. 
This I'm is, like, let her come live with you then if you're so obsessed with her. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Got little peppers in it. Mm. Okay. Egg, sausage, cheese, and mm. little peppers, but I don't know what they are. They're not hot. But that that hash brown was good. Your hash brown was good. I would have made a five out of five because it was good. Okay. It was okay. Fresh. Check that out. I can't believe all you got was an orange juice. Yeah, I should have got tea. I regret that. <laughs> I do. Um, we don't know where diamonds at. Please, please stop DMing us and asking us where she's at. We don't know. She's probably in jail. She's probably shacked up with some dude. You know, I, her I phone's off, so we don't know. Mmm. 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 You see my little burger holder I got? Show them. It keeps your hand clean. That's awesome. Because I, I always have food falling off on me. Pickles, relish mm -hmm. falling all over my shirt. And I, these are nice shirts, you know. You That's just a, don't want to be getting them. That's a nice shirt. <laughs> Hey, these are pretty good. I've never gotten these. I always get the platter or the, uh, what's the thing with the, uh, it's a sausage, egg, and cheese, but they put pancake on the outside or something like that. Mmm. Uh, the. Whatever. McGriddle? Yeah! Them aren't good. Honestly, that's what I thought I was getting. I didn't think this was. Mm. I like this, though. Mmm. Oh, I didn't even show this. Very good. Show it good. There it's, you go. It's got sausage, egg, cheese, mm -hmm. and a mm. English muffin. I don't know what makes it English. I guess they're from England. Frankly, we had muffins here before England did. That specific recipe was uh, made in England. That's what I heard. Well, how do you know? I think we learned that in school. I may be wrong. Mmm. <laughs> hey. That was good. That may be my new thing. The burrito? Yeah. I yeah. saw something yesterday. Mm. And, the, and the fella said, do you want a breakfast burrito? I said, no, but you know who loves them? Tammy does. I thought of you. Because you love a burrito. Oh, are you kidding me? Breakfast? No, it's always in a burrito. Exactly. Exactly. All right, so here's what I'm doing now. I'm putting butter on my pancakes, mm. hotcakes, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Don't be, don't be in my comments saying, "Tell me they're hotcakes." Tell me they're call them whatever the fuck you want to call them, and leave people alone about it. Okay? So I'm just squirting on some butter. Well, I'll move my eggs over. The platters do need to be a little bit bigger so you have a little more space. I'll, I'll give them that. And I know they're trying to save money on platters, but if it was another inch bigger, it'd make a world of difference for the consumer. They used to have them where they was oval. Hmm. And I think that provides more surface area. All right. Everybody ready? Here we go. Mm. Mm, my pancake's getting wet and my pussy's getting wet. <laughs> It is. It is. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is. It is. Mm. Okay. We'll save the rest for when it gets dry. <laughs> I bet that you could have put that in slow motion and Ooh. it would look like a commercial. Well, I don't know how to edit that. But it would be cool. All right, here we go. I'm going to try my hot cakes, my pancakes. Mmm. Mmm. They're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're good today. Ooh, those are real good. Okay. I still have to touch my fingers on here, though. Oh, you do? To well, get it out. You, you gotta get it out. You can't oh. put your head in there. Mm-hmm. I mean, so far, so good, though. Mm-hmm. Keeping me clean. Mm-hmm. Mm. Eggs are okay. Need a little bit of salt and pepper. Let me try the... They didn't put none in there? Mmm. 
That sausage is good with the. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. All right, let's answer a question. I'm going to dig out my. Right. Platters always slap. If, you're, if you've never had a platter, mm. Mm. I might have to get me one next time. Yeah, well, you can't go wrong. They just never give you enough butter. Got to ask for extra. And then they give you one extra. It's like, no, I need about 12 <laughs> per pancake. Mm. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Tammy. Crystal. What's your least favorite sex position? Mmm. Well, first off, if a cock's in me, I love all of them. I will say that. I'll take it anyway and get it. Um. But... But if I had to be like, eh, let's not do that, that one right now. I'm going to say the flying squirrel. Dang, which one is that? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Definitely Google it. But it's really not made for women above uh, 110 pounds. And when you, sometimes Daryl gets a little thinking he's stronger than he is, you know, wanting to do it. So we do it, and there's always an injury involved. And when you're getting hurt during sex, it's supposed to be pleasurable. I mean, they say you, sometimes pain equals pleasure, but if you're physically, you know, breaking a joint or right. pulling a muscle or something. Exactly. Um, and I don't care for um, reverse cowgirl. I always get a Charlie horse. What about you? I don't know what the name of it is. What is it? But it's a newer one, and fellas been wanting to try it. The man is laying down with his legs up, and then you're sitting on his legs like a little chair, and then you have, <laughs> you have his arm. You can use his legs as a arm chair, and it is funny. If you look it up, I'm going to look it up because I can't remember. Somebody told me about it. It looks comfortable, but again. <laughs> I ain't never heard of that, and I thought I knew all of them. I will say that. Any Anything that requires my knees to be bent in this position, yeah. I don't. Because it just hurts too much. Well, and it's like, regular sex is good. Doggy. Doggy. Why do we got to get all crazy with it? Just bend me over. You know? Doggy missionary. Sometimes you could do the side. Mm-hmm. I love me a good side sex. And that one you don't have to hardly move, so that's good. Crystal, I did have someone ask if we could our next muck bank keep it super PG because they want their kids to watch. Uh oh. Huh. And at first I got pissed. I was like. At first, I was like, excuse me? Is this the one you're going to use? No. No, no. But what do you think about that? I think doing a PG one would be fun. And we can try it. Okay, next question. Tammy, Crystal, how do I stop being self-conscious about my uneven titties? Oh. You just stop. Exactly. <laughs> a guy's gonna suck him. He don't give a fuck. What's he gonna do? Get out a tape measure and start measuring them? No. And that's those are your titties. Them is the ones that God gave you. Uh huh. When he was giving out tits, he said, "Oh, well, let's put a this size and this size." Yep. Amen. Amen on that. Yeah. If he wanted you to have same size tits, he would have given you same size tits. And it's like, men don't care. And if you're a lesbian, lesbians don't care. They love titties. <laughs> they don't, people don't say, people that love titties don't say, oh, I love even titties. 
Right. They just say titties. Generally, they love titties. So, that's something that you're going to have to wake up one day and just stop doing. Because I'll tell you right now, my tits are so uneven. One's much bigger than the other. And nipple sizes are different. Don't even get me started on crystals. Okay? And do I have a problem finding anyone to suck them? No. <laughs> I don't. You could probably stick them out that window right now. A couple people would run up. Literally. That's and I have done that before. It's been a while, but... That's the thing about self-confidence. You just have to do it. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody can tell you how you should feel about your own body. You gotta choose to do it. Your body is perfect the way it is. Whether you're 12 pounds or 1,200. Mm -hmm. That's your body and the only one you got. I love it. And don't sit there and say, well, I'm gonna wait till my titties are even to, mm -hmm. to start showing people. Show them to them now. Mm -hmm. And then you'll inspire a crowd of uneven titty people to show their titties. And guess what? Next thing you know, even titties are are the mainstream and a, a normal size titty or a even titty is the uh, is a minority. I'm just getting hyped up. Now do y'all see how I ended up so confident growing up hearing that? Growing up hearing that? You got one body. That's it. Growing up hearing that. Unless you get reincarnated, then you'll have a different one, but you won't even know. You won't know. Okay? Growing up hearing that is why I'm so confident. So if you've got kids or you've got nieces or you've got whatever or, or you want to walk by, you know, playground and yell some shit out about titties, do it. Let me not playground. They're usually children. There. Well, make sure the parents aren't there. <laughs> yeah. You know? But you don't know. You, you get what I'm saying, though, right? Damn. We're too hard on ourselves. Too hard on ourselves. Mm. And there's other things to worry about in life. Like why McDonald's don't start serving lunch until 11. Thank you. Damn. Talking about getting hyped up. Damn. Mm. All right, next question. That was a good question. Mm -hmm. Has John Stamos reached out to you guys? Mm. Tell him. Have you told him on your channel? No. Okay. Well, you're going to hear it here first. Well, I don't talk about it because I've been learning about clout. And I'm not trying to get an unnecessary clout. And I don't want people... Because this is the deal. When somebody follows you on Instagram, you can then send them a message directly. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Somebody told me that. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to say, hey... Can you send John Samos messages? Because John Samos is following me on Instagram. He followed her. And I ain't even verified. He followed her. Have I sent him a message? No. And if you think, Tammy, Crystal, y'all are lying. John Samos did not follow Crystal. He didn't follow me. He did not follow Crystal. Oh, really? Get on there. I'll put my Instagram here and Crystal's Instagram there and go look and see who John Stamos is following because he's following her. And if he ain't, then that's a recent. And don't tell me because I'll be sad because I do check every couple of days just to make sure. There's Somebody show me how you have to go to their profile, click on their followers, and if you see your name in there, that means they're following mm -hmm. you. And yours is in there, but mine ain't. <laughs> He ain't never messaged me. I think he's waiting for the perfect moment. Yeah. No, there's no doubt. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. That really showed Diamond, though. She thought she could really, you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, mm. Get over on me. All right. Next question. Did you guys ever go camping? Damn. Big campers. Well, we went a lot when we were kids. We'd go out camping at the lake every summer. Kind of had like a little mini uh, family reunion every summer. That was the first time I got fingered. And not by a family member. 
Okay? The family next to the family in the because you know how there's a bunch of tents and a bunch of people. It was one of the okay, one of them. But I did get fingered. That's the best place to get fingered. Remember, I came running to you saying, Crystal. Because you told me what fingering was for years. I acted like I was mad though. I said, Where is he? And I went over there and tried to scare him. Yeah. Did you stick your fingers in Tammy? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are you dead? Yes, ma'am. Well, good. <laughs> Let me smell your finger. <laughs> you know. Did you really? Did you I smell it? I did. did. What does it smell like? Just like mine. Well, we're we're cousins, so. Mm. Then I gave him a little fish bump. Well, we don't um uh, uh camp much anymore, mainly just because the heat bothers us. You know. Um. I don't like mosquitoes either. Mm -mm. Mm. I don't think that we're welcome at that that uh, campsite no more. Anyway. Uh, no, we're not welcome at that campsite. Uh, we used to go to the same campsite every summer, and then uh, th for me, this is when Diamond started. This is when we noticed Diamond was. Um, a deviant. Is that what we're looking for? Deviant. Deviant. So I was about, what, six? So she was, what, five? She's a year younger than me. And you were about 13, 14. 13. I think it was the summer of like 97, 98. I don't know, something like that. And uh, my great uncle, okay, at the time, he's not alive anymore, God rest his soul. But, you know, he was an old bastard back then. Well, it was his birthday. So, uh, my granny hired a stripper, okay, to come give him a lap dance for his birthday. So, the whole family just sat around and, you know, watched her. She was giving him, that was my first lap dance I ever saw. I was wowed by it. I'm not going to lie. Well, you anyway. Went, I thought you had seen one before that, but I guess that's right. Mm-mm. Yeah, you were that was my six. first. That was my first. I was wowed by it. Anyway, she gave her a lap dance. <clears throat> it's a long story, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compact it. Come to find out, the stripper gets ready to leave. And she's like, uh, <clears throat> my purse was in my car. Where's my purse? And we're like, hmm? We don't know, ma'am. We were watching the... We were, wa we were watching, the, <laughs> you know, your dance. And all of a sudden, my granny goes, Well, there was one person not watching the dance. And who do you think that was? Diamond. Come to find out, that little bitch was going into cars and stole the stripper's purse. So Diamond, five years old... And the stripper, who was at least 40, got into a fist fight. Okay? Cops were called. They were both arrested. It was a big old deal. And, and we were asked not to come back. We were asked not to hold our family reunions there anymore. And, uh... You know she's bad and a deviant if a grown woman is going to fist fight her. Yeah. She had no reservations about mm -mm. fist fighting her. Mm -mm. Come here, you little... Mm-hmm. Well, Owen Diamond was, bring it, bitch. Bring it, bitch. Right. Remember and that? And the lady wasn't even clock. She had her tits flopping out. And she said, I I wouldn't steal your purse. I'm well off. It was like, uh-huh. Yeah, she I'm did well do that. I'm well off. Meanwhile, holding it. She did. She was holding it. Saying, I'm well off. That's when, that, and before that, we got along, but that's when I was like, I don't like her. And she ruined... We can't never go to that camping spot no more. And for what? I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. The stripper didn't do nothing. Now, do y'all understand why everything's ruined by Diamond? Everything from day one. I mean, she was born... She must have been born wired like that. Because how does a five-year-old child start going into cars, stealing stuff, smoking cigarettes at five? Mm-hmm. Like she'd been smoking them, 
you know, for 20 years, just knows how to smoke and light and everything. Yep. So she's always... Uh, let's not talk about diamond. I'm getting worked up. <laughs> I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Um, I'm doing my food, Crystal. Maybe we could get uh, Daryl to get us a little camper van and go camping once or twice. That'd be fun. Oh, well, yeah, we'll have to find a new camper spot. But they, they got plenty of those around. I bet Jim That'd would be, love it, too. Jim, yes. That'd be fun. That really would be fun. Make some s'mores. And, and we'll have to vlog it. You guys go follow my vlog channel. I'm going to put the link down below. And uh, that would be fun. Let's do it. Yeah. Maybe we could dress up in the disguise and go back to our old camping spot. Well, it's been, what, 13? 27, 30 years. You think they'd know? Let's go in disguise yeah, let's, just in yeah, case. Let's wear a hat and some just in case, sunglasses. okay? Damn, I don't want no trouble. Fuck. <clears throat> Alright, guys. Well, that's it for today's mukbang. We're going to try the spicy chicken sandwich on Crystal's channel. So be looking out for that. And uh, that's it. That's it. Okay? Bye. Bye. Lo love you.